Okay, on my way. With me on the other side of the door. I'd love to share it. Hello? <laughs> Another fortunate swing of the hammer for old Gildan? Aloy! My flame-haired Nora, my damn fixer, my second set of hands! Who'd have thought we'd meet again in such familiar circumstances? Ha! Ah, certainly not me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, now, it all started when I heard the echoes of a most peculiar voice beckoning me into this beguiling place. But I resisted. I knew this was a special delve, one I had to share, so I went and fetched my friend Olvar, who was more than willing. And where is he? Alas, we got separated when we sailed into a howling tempest on the way back here. Blew me right overboard. I floundered about in the waves, certain I'd become snap maw bait. But nope. The sea spat old Gildan right out onto the shore. Olvar undoubtedly thought I was a goner, and pressed on, as any true delver would. I followed in his footsteps as far as I could, until I came across a door that wouldn't budge. Naturally, I searched for another means of entry. That's when I uncovered an ancient lever, tantalizing in its door-opening potential. So you pulled the lever. I pulled the lever, which may have, upon reflection, sealed this door shut behind me. And thus do we find ourselves once again at a fortuitous meeting. Can we step back a minute? How exactly are you here? The last time I saw you was in the dam way up north. After your departure, I wandered here and there, dabbled in a few ruins, even tried my hand at another dam out past Baron Light. But nothing could quite compare to our delve. You wandered all the way from Banuk territory to the Forbidden West? An ember in the wind, girl. That's old Gildan. And as luck would have it, I bumped into an expedition headed for the Burning Shores. Now there's an opportunity for fellowship and adventure, I thought. So I chucked my lot in with theirs, and here we are. Well, I'm not sure how you managed to get out here unscathed, but... <sighs> it's good to see you, Gildan. Tell me about this Olvar guy. Our bond was forged on the road to these uncharted shores. Night after night, I relayed my previous ventures to my traveling companions. Olvar took it all in with a fascinated silence. So when we got here, we agreed to share our fortunes. The look on his face when I told him about this place. Nothing quite like the joy of a new delve shared with good company. After I fell off our boat, I searched all over for him. I was starting to think him lost when I found his camp up top. He'll be as happy as a sun-kissed Karja to find out I'm not dead. I'm sure he will. Okay, so let me get this straight. You think Olvar somehow managed to get deeper in the ruin? Courtesy of a handy-dandy shaft. Or, well, not so handy-dandy now that some rubble's blocked the way. Right, so if we're gonna find him, we need to find a way past that door you mentioned. We? Yes, Gildan, I will help you find Olvar. And make sure you don't get yourself trapped again. <laughs> Marvelous! Just like old times. You with your surprising and perplexing ways. Me with my nose for danger and excitement. The door lies just ahead. After you. My humble, temporary abode. Nice place. Indeed! Would have loved to share this discovery with Olvar. Regrettably, I tumbled into the sea as the ruin entered our sights. Could imagine my joy discovering my lanterns in this tunnel. Presuming me dead, Olvar put them to good use. 
So resourceful. Find something? Well, there's a passcode left behind by one of the old ones. He was alone here. He broadcast the recording, hoping others would join him. Did anyone come? Not sure. This is where that dastardly lever was lurking. But well, let's not pull any more levers. And here I present our hinged hindrance. The finale of our grand tour. Yep, definitely blocked. Not my first impassable obstacle. Shall we try that uh, passcode out? I'm just itching for you to meet Olvar. into that room across the way. Olvar's never been stingy on the blast paste. Well, the path's blocked now. I'll have to find another way up. The old ones must have loved spending time underground to build these tunnels. We might be able to move this. Must have been I, uh, great some help? Anything you need. suppose they went about creating these tunnels? By hand? Blast paste? Plow horn, perhaps? Mm. Who needs a code and key module? Hang tight down there. I'll look around. No worthwhile delve is free of its devilish challenges. It's blocking my path. Maybe I can find a way around it. What was that? Nothing.
Could check this vent, see what I find. Best of luck! Personally, I've always been more proficient at losing things than finding them. You name it, I misplaced it. Hammers, I grabbed the room. I even lost my precious looking glass falling into the sea. I see you haven't lost your knack for hazardous traversal. Oh. oh, you're fine. Of course. I get used for this. Our. Old world friends left us another code. A true gentleman. I'll bet plenty of people answered his call. It doesn't look like it. I'm here. Get to the elevator controls? You mean climb across? <laughs> sure. So, how did you and Olvar team up? Traveling with a caravan. Yeah, he was prickly at first. Till I, oh, yeah, till I told him about Mom, her priceless looking glass, and how I found one just like it. He was interested in your looking glass? He's an inquisitive mind. You two will be tighter than two nuts on a boat. Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it. All right, let's give this crank a whirl. Ready to go?
medics for one day. Keep going.
Olvar must be wondering what all the commotion was about. Hmm. Did you find some something? This data. The soldier didn't write it. Huh. His friend did. Guess our friend found someone after all. No sign of Olvar, though. We'll keep looking. Fire that off in confined spaces, do we? Think I've consumed a few too many... Olvar. Cold. He's been here a while. His explosives must have attracted burrowers. Is that? He stole Gildan's looking glass. It's probably when he pushed him off the boat. How am I gonna break this to Gildan? A delver like no other, I must say. Well, let's hear it. So, any sign of my elusive partner? Gildan... Olvar didn't make it. Machines got him. I found him holding this. My looking glass. But how? This isn't going to be easy to hear, but... I think he... he really did care. He knew how special this was to me. That... That has to be why he held on to it. I was in his thoughts until the very end. You know what, Gildan? I'm sure you're right. That is how you should remember him. And at least this way, you know what happened to him. Yeah. You're right. Better a delve ended than never began, after all. It's the whole heap of rotten luck. Right when I... Finally found someone to be my friend. That's the way the hammer falls, I guess. I think I'd be used to it by now. Truth be told, I never had a lasting friend. I mean, when your own mum doesn't like you enough to stick around, why would anyone else? I'm really starting to think I might go my whole life like this. No matter what I do, what I say, in the end, I'll be inevitably all alone. Hey, that is not true. You'll always have me, Gildan. And I might not be with you all the time. But <laughs> there is a way for us to stay in touch. With this. One of your tiny wonders? It's called a focus. You put it on up here, like this. Whoa! Sparks to steal. Look at that. And that. <laughs> Over there, too. What a thing of beauty. No idea what it all means. But it dazzle all the same. I will put you in touch with some friends of mine. They'll help you get up to speed on using the focus. And I meant what I said. If you ever really need me, give me a call. I'll always help a friend. Before you skedaddle out of here, I've got something for you, too. Figured you'd find a better use for it than me. 
Thanks, Gilden. Until we meet again. <laughs>